Spider-Man 2. I'll be popping. PS5, obviously. PS2. Spider-Man 2 in a nutshell. Spider-Man 2 is finally out. Who's excited? I am. Because I'm going to be screaming with my credit card, which has probably nothing to afford. Depends on how this video does. <laughs> So pretty much I'm gonna be explaining Spider-Man 2 in a nutshell, okay? This game is a banger! It's so good compared to any other Spider-Man game because you can not only play as Peter Parker, which you always play as, but this time you can play Peter Parker as a retarded version of him, which is uh, very scary, which is uh, Peter Parker possessed by Venom, which is uh, the black suit of Spider-Man. And if you don't know what a black suit of Spider-Man is, get a lot. Then, you know, you got Miles Morales, who's a new Spider-Man, who's pretty much a kid version of Spider-Man because Peter Parker is getting old and Tom Holland is getting old, so they needed someone else to replace him eventually to milk more Marvel money. Uh, let me just get into the story, pretty much. New York always has adversities. We, all, we already seen goddamn, like, a complete, like, air pollutant crazy apocalyptic like uh, air season which happened in new york well it happened again in spider-man it always keeps happening in new york in spider-man 2 the story is pretty simple you have a lot of bosses and i'm gonna be listing all the bosses first we got sandman of course the big sand boy who pours more sand than entire egypt lizard we got lizard as a main boss uh lizard obviously was in Amazing Spider-Man 2 and 1, I think, but... Alright, we got Mystery Negative. Actually, this one was something I never knew. He's apparently part of, like, some sort of, like, a weird, like, Miles Morales-related, like, boss. And next, we got Kraven the Hunter, the OG, the classic. Bro, this man barely talks, but he sure can spank his tigers. Scream. This one was super scary. I actually did not expect, um, uh, this to be that interesting, because, like, this Scream thing blew me off the water. Like, I didn't know they're gonna be putting this scary-looking symbiote it's in this one like i actually liked for the first time in a spider-man movie really really put some symbiotes and influence of symbiotes in the like spider-man metaverse they added a lot of details into this game it's lovely next one we got is obviously venom obviously the classic this is the final boss fight you're gonna have bro you got wings this time bro got like additional add-ons this time bro is like batman in this bit bro bro is batman and venom this time it's pretty crazy yeah there's someone called wraith and don't really seem that strong because they're just holding a goddamn like five dollar chain from thrift store or something next we got mysterio which probably one of my favorites mysterio is like He's a little goofy. He's a little creepy. He looks like sand from Undertale. Also, you got a lot of, like, non-boss villains this time, rather than only having bosses all the time. That's the storyline at the start. You can play as Miles. You can play as Peter. You'll encounter all these bosses through the missions. Now, one thing I really loved about the new game is because, like, you, you obviously have a lot of abilities. But I feel like this time they, like, stonked with the abilities. Like... They went crazy with them. It's not like something which was just simple and small. This time, like, they had a lot of, like, cool stuff. And we're going to talk about the characters for a bit because it is a nutshell and we need to talk about the main characters. In the main characters, you got Peter Parker, obviously. Literally Spider-Man. And then you got Miles, who's also Spider-Man. Just don't know why. And then you got Mary Jane Watson, who's pretty much a supporter of Spider-Man. You got Harry Osborn, Spider-Man's best friend. I mean, Peter Parker's best friend. Because there's two Spider-Mans. God, we got Genki Lee, who is, I think, Miles' best friend. So we got two best friends from each side, which is best friend of Peter, best friend of Miles. I mean, yeah, so that's cool. And we got Rio Morales. She's the mother of Miles Morales, I guess. And we got Norman Osborn, who is, like, father of Harry Osborn. And we got Haley Cooper, uh, Miles' closest friend, apparently. Don't care. We're gonna give you guys the suits. We got a lot of suits! Yes! A lot more than the last one. The black suit, you get it by just completing the... You just have black suit for peter parker because he gets possessed by venom you got normal suit advanced suit you got a whole lot of suits bro some of them are really cool because they're not even part of like the franchise but they made it super dope because they like made it like possible to get these and i think that's what's going to make a lot of people like love this game to the core because like dude i would love to milk as many suits as i can because my god they're fun you got a lot of them for peter and you got a whole lot of them for Miles. So it's really dope because you can literally finish Peter's suits and then you can finish Miles' suits. And it's like pretty much having ownership over two accounts. But like, you know, you're using the two accounts in one game. Pretty much this game takes about 20 to 25 hours to finish just a story. So there's a lot of side quests. The map is pretty good, actually. I mean, nothing fantastic compared to the last map, but it does the job. And yeah, that's it. I mean, it's honestly a dub. I think the value for money is definitely there, especially assuming it's a Sony game. Of course, they love money, but I hope it really comes out to PC soon, but uh, arguably the new Spider-Man 2 game didn't come out and that probably will come out this year to PC. So this one probably will come out in the next next year, which sucks more than a sponge. Anyways, that's it. Spider-Man in a nutshell. Subscribe or else I'll make sure you're adopted.